Good morning, James Gilton here. This is my video to show people how to make a small stealth RV, I call it, or camper van out of a Nissan NV200 2015 cargo van, mini size cargo van. And I obtained this van used from CarMax a couple of years ago. Pardon my amateur video shooting ability. I'm just going to walk around so the camera might shake a bit. Front seat <clears throat> is pretty darn cozy. The, as I've read also for a commercial van <clears throat> and the car comes with a really good sound system and uh, stereo. Um, nothing much to tell you in here other than I've got an attachment for my, I've got a cigarette lighter charger, which you're going to need. Um, I've got, it comes with two USB ports, this one, and also a regular two prong outlet. I'm pretty sure it's only a two prong, yeah, because a cigarette lighter outlets aren't designed to put through a lot of voltage. So that's a two prong. I'm charging some headphones here. This is where I keep my trash bag attached to um, the handle and the seat. This is a little portable laptop desk, which has... Um, soft on the bottom you can put on your lap I don't use the light but the cup holder comes in handy <coughs> and it's good for especially if I sit on the passenger seat so the steering wheel doesn't get in the way or if I prop it up next to the steering wheel I can actually do it here too using a laptop or tablet um, I also use it as a little table to eat on when I'm eating in the car, which I live in this van actually for the last almost almost two years, I guess about yeah, a year and a half, almost a little bit more than a year and a half. So I keep it right there unless I've got a passenger, then I'll store it away underneath uh, in the back of the van. Uh, I have three curtains. This helps with the stealth in case I've got security guard or police shining flashlights through the back which doesn't come with any it's just open right into the back cargo <clears throat> so i had first i had this um regular curtain with you know two sides to it that i thought i could reach through and grab stuff and pretty much just uh attached that with some velcro and strong glue super glue type of glue that Velcro has lasted a long time, but the seats sort of tug on the curtains a lot. So I've had to kind of jerry-rig it with super glue, um, duct tape. And then <clears throat> in the winter, it gets quite cold in this thing because I've never insulated it. Uh, in Southern California, it, at the beach level, ocean level, sea level elevation, it rarely gets to freezing, but it does get into the 30s on occasion uh, in the winter so I I thought maybe a shower curtain would help some of the cold coming through the front windows I don't think it really does help that much um, but it does add another layer it's a white shower curtain it adds another layer that somebody couldn't shine a flashlight through these other curtains it's possible to sort of see through with a flashlight and then the American flag, originally I had in the back as a decoration hiding my one, my hanging storage area, but then I moved it up front. I kind of like it up front, although it's completely jerry-rigged with chip clips and <clears throat> to keep it from falling down. And the seats tug at it, so it's an ongoing battle, but I, I like having a flag up in the front. It's kind of cool to display a flag there. <clears throat> I'll show you the back of the car. Um, yeah, and this Nissan comes with 
a nice center box for stuff and I got gloves there because it's coronavirus quarantine this video is being made in the middle of April 2020 and then of course a, a water holder and a coffee cup a water cup bottle and a coffee cup up here and that's a reusable coffee cup these vans you get used real quick to not having a rear view or a rear view mirror because the side mirrors are quite large and they have big blind spot mirrors built in and then you just really never have a problem you don't even have to well you couldn't anyways so to check your blind spot you don't have to turn you use the blind spot mirror really good mirrors I guess we can start on this side I have uh, a microwave I have three of these two gallon glass water bottles that I love I found them at Walmart this is a Michelin backup battery which is connected to that cigarette charger that you saw on the front so that as long as I'm driving or running the engine it will always stay charged I just charged overnight a portable hand vacuum and you can see here on the indicator that it really didn't take much maybe one notch of charge um, charging up this little hand vac that I got from rechargeable hand vacuum that I got from uh, Home Depot actually just yesterday on the left of the microwave I keep I can keep I've got some mouthwash and utility water in there for cleaning up my coffee press I like to hang my backpack here it's just a handy place in case I need to take off my contact lenses or put them back on easily or grab some deodorant real quick it's just handy for me there <coughs> I do keep a little bit of space between the mattress and the microwave or well, you can see that's what this knob is for too is to make sure that ventilation uh, I keep it kind of wrapped up with bungee cords which I'm sort of a bungee cord freak and I use these clips on the plywood to sort of keep it in place and it really does stay in place this backup system, <clears throat> it's not a lithium battery or anything. Um, these things, I think you can get them for about 150 bucks online. I think I paid more than that at Fry's Electronics, but they've got one USB port, cigarette lighter port, which I don't use. They got the uh, two three-prong plugs. Now, it will only put out 200 volts, I believe. So it's not going to power the microwave or anything like a fan or anything like that that takes a lot of voltage. But it will charge my hand vac. Um, it's actually got <coughs> jumper cables on the side. You can use this thing to jump start your car. And it's also even got, believe it or not, for those of you that especially are mountain bikers, it's got a way to inflate tires, which... Supposedly will work on car tires too, although I think it might take a while on a car tower, tire, but um, <clears throat> It's got a radio as well, and I think Bluetooth on the speakers, although I've never tested out the speakers. I should try it I don't know how good they are um, <clears throat> In order to power that microwave And then I've got a, an extension cord connected to the microwave here six footer you have to, in order to power the microwave, you have to run the engine and run a um, in, in a power inverter. So I bought a thousand watt power inverter from Home Depot. I think that was a hundred and fifty dollar unit. It works quite well. I noticed on the web afterwards there were a few people on the Dewalt website criticizing this this product, but it's worth it's worked flawlessly for me so I have a feeling they're competitors that are just posting false reviews on that device so you just pop open the hood usually things that are sold by a company like DeWalt which is a popular construction worker tool company and Home Depot they're not going to be selling things that don't work so I think sometimes on the web you can get false reviews from competitors <clears throat> 
<clears throat> and I don't know how to edit this video, so I'm just going to walk around. <laughs> Sorry. At least I can talk a little bit while I do that. And I, I just do this right now. My laptop was actually stolen out of a Starbucks. I had a MacBook, but um, <clears throat> as I was doing some <coughs> music, trying to learn um, some music production, I've produced five songs. I get a sixth one I'm going to produce next month. Um, so you just connect the the, the wires that come with the, the cable cable wires that come with this device over here just like you would if you're going to jump your car with the clamps. Red on positive I be, believe and yeah red is positive and black on <clears throat> negative. Those things can get quite hot by the way sometimes. And then I just prop prop it up like that <clears throat> which I'm sure the construction workers do when they need power and they're at a construction site that doesn't have power that's what these things are really marketed for but they work great if you don't have solar panels and <clears throat> of course it's quicker than charging solar panels but I mean I'm all for the environment but <clears throat> you got to be little practical that you end up just using your car engine as a generator so as a gasoline power generator I just just got two three prong outlets the gauges it's got three USBs which is kind of cool although I've never used them um, and I'll start up the car so now that power inverter is connected to the microwave through an extension cord Three prong extension cord, of course, it's grounded. And start her up. If you were to do this without running the engine, it might work for a little while at least, but it could very well drain your battery, and eventually it certainly would. Uh, if you had something charging for a long time, it would drain your battery. So the solution to that problem is to just Turn on the car engine, and there you have it. You got it like a Honda gasoline powered um, generator now putting out a maximum of a thousand watts. I'll turn it on here with the <coughs> just I think I will. Well, that's interesting, it's not turning on today. Murphy's law. Never seen it not turn on. <coughs> I'll unplug it, maybe that's right, let's see. There we go. Oh, it's really not turning on. Okay, I had to hold the power button down this time for some reason. <laughs> um, okay, so the gauge will tell us now that it's, I'm using six watts.